the member representing Anambra East and West Federal Constituency, Honorable Chinedo Bidigwe, has called on the federal government to urgently find a lasting solution to the perennial flooding threatening the life and property of Nigerians. Honorable Obidigwe made this appeal when he visited his constituents that were displaced by the flood in the various holding centers created by the Anambra State Government at Umweri Unity Hall, Anambra East Local Government Area, Iwako, Ifitogwari, Umweje, and all in Ayamelum Council Area, among numerous other places. Chibuzo Okoye has the details. Addressing his constituents at each of the camps visited, Andre Bobidigwe, who gave financial support at the camp, regretted that the perennial flooding has cost his constituents fortunes, their means of livelihood, as well as human lives. The lawmaker, who is the deputy chairman, House of Representatives Committee on Environment, who was deeply saddened with the conditions of his people, noted that he had written to the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, to immediately supply relief materials to the people and wondered why nothing has been done even when he submitted the letters by himself and promised that he will ensure that both the agency and the ministry respond to their duties as all Nigerians must be treated equally. He commended Governor Chukuma Saludo's administration for its doggedness and responsiveness in ensuring that the flood displaced persons are well taken care of and called on the federal government to dredge the river Niger and Omanbla River and build dams that would contain what each time Cameroon releases water from East Dam to bring a permanent solution to the humanitarian crisis affecting the people. Well, of course, I've moved the motion on this aspect, and uh, the motion was very clear. The Nigerian government should construct their own dam to contain the flood whenever uh, Cameroon releases their own dam. You cannot quantify the level of damage and decay. People are dying. Of hunger. I have written to Nema. I have written to Minister of Humanitarian. Thanking the lawmaker for his benevolence, the traditional rule of Ezia Gulotu Aguleru, Igwe Lawrence Mwafia said that the flood has brought untold hardship to the people, even as he prayed God to bless Honorable Blobidigwe, whom he described as the best thing that has happened to the federal constituency. <laughs> One of the flood victims, Mrs. Udume Luo Ibano, at Ibahu Holding Center, described Honorable Bidigwe as a pillar that brings joy to his people and urged other lawmakers to emulate him. <laughs> Earlier, Andre Blobidigwe visited some of his constituents who were camping at different locations not captured by the Anambra State Government, where he extended the same monetary largesse to them. Among those in the lawmaker's entourage during the visit were the member representing Anambra West constituency in the State House of Assembly, Andre Patrick Obalomodoba, the traditional rule of Mbunan and to Aguleri, Igwe Johnson Mbanefo, the Anambra East Chairman of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Chief Joseph Ehualo, his Anambra West counterpart, Chief Charles Ehualo, a former Transition Committee Chairman of Anambra East Local Government Area, Barrister Obinweke, among numerous others. This is Chibu Zokoye for ABS News.